In this video, I am going to show you how it is that you use the BrainPop website, particularly the quizzes, directly with active expressions. And in order to do that, you need to be running a piece of software. So I'm going to show you that I have that software installed and on my dock. And you're going to want to click on it so that it's actually running. And I know it's running right now because there's a dot below the icon on the dock. And the other thing I see is right here, I see this little icon right next to my trash when it's, when it's running. It's really subtle. You don't really see much when it's running. It's something that is just occurring in the background. The other thing I wanted to let you know is that I have a hub plugged into my computer right now. And I also have one active expression that I have powered on. So I'm going to now go to a quiz in BrainPop. So I'm going to click on the spotlight election here. And this is where I can get a series of videos about the election but I'm gonna go up and click on take our election quiz. Now, if I did not have this little piece of software, this SDK uh, running, then I would not see this little option right here. And so I do see that option. And so I'm going to click on active expression quiz. And I'm gonna get one, uh, the first question here. You as the teacher get to decide when students are able to use their device to vote. So you do that by clicking start vote. So when I did that, I, I'm looking at my expression and I see the options A, B, and C. So I'm gonna click A and then you have to click send, which is typical of the active expression. And then as the teacher, you would wait and you could watch right here and this number is going to change as more and more students poke in their answer on their devices. When most kids have voted, you can click on stop vote and you're just gonna love the options because they're really very, very simple to use and, and kind of cool and graceful and not a lot of room for tech crises. So first of all, you could, if you wanted to, just point out the correct answer by clicking that and then Moby comes up. So that's one option. Or maybe you wanted to show answer popularity, so you could show what students voted, and then you could talk about it as a class, and then show the correct answer, or perhaps you would want to go to restart question and re-vote based on your discussion in the class. Now, another thing to notice is at the bottom there are three tabs, class charts, individual results, cumulative results. I want to show you this. If you click ch class charts, um, you're actually going to get a pie chart here. This isn't that interesting because I have a single voter, which is myself right now. But this would be a pie chart that would show um, the distribution of votes on this particular question. So I'm going to close that or and go to individual results. And this is where you can see I, I'm holding device number 21 here. And, I, and you can see that this is what I voted, which was I voted A. So if you want to see what each person voted, you could go to that tab. And then lastly, the cumulative results. This is a 10 point quiz. I love this for a formative, a quick, easy formative assessment. But not only could I just eyeball this as the teacher, but I could also click download results and I could save a spreadsheet to my computer. It might be a CSV. Here, I'm gonna click on that real quick. Um, yeah, it's a CSV file. You put it on your desktop and if you drag a CSV file on your Excel icon on your dock, it will open in Excel and you could view this data that way. So I'm gonna cancel that. And then I'm gonna go back to, um, I wanna go back to the quiz, actual quiz question. So I click on that X here. One other thing I wanted to show you is that um, you go to the next question if you're going question by question by clicking on that button. So super smooth and an exciting way to get every student involved in thinking about the content that was delivered through a BrainPop video.